Welcome to our first Friday Mass. Today is also a very special day for us Dominicans because we celebrate the feast of St. Martin de Porres. According to legend, he is at, when he was in Lima, Peru, he also bilocated here in the Philippines. So he's also close to the hearts of some Filipinos, not just because they watch Mar, uh, Marimar. So those uh, character po ng Marimar ay si Padre Martin de Porres na maitim din, pero actually he's really a saint and he's also a patron of the sick, patron of the poor, patron of those who are lonely, and also of animals, those of love, animal lovers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, ever virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Martin de Porres with the path of humility to heavenly glory, grant that we may so follow his regent example in this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred, according to the flesh. They are children of Israel, theirs the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. Theirs the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates, 
He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Please all rise to honor the Lord Jesus. with you and with your a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke you, on the Sabbath Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees and the people there were observing him carefully in front of him there was a man suffering from dropsy Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and Pharisees in reply asking is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath or not but they kept silent so he took the man and after he had healed him dismissed him then he said to them who among you if your son or ox falls into a cistern would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day but they were unable to answer his question the gospel of the Lord Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Kanina po, nabasa ninyo na ako po ay, ang pangalan ko po ay Father Rudolf Senyo, OP. No? Ano po ba yung OP? Order of Preachers at Saguro. In one way or another, may invite na po kayong Dominican. Before I went back to, the, to Manila, I was assigned as a parish priest in a missionary area, in, a, in the peripheries, in Calayan Island. Pabuyanes. Have you heard of that place? Anyway, para ma-visualize nyo po siya, alam niyo po ba yung pinakadulo ng north natin sa Philippines? Batanes. Batanes. Okay? In fact, Batanes po, ha? hindi po Apari. Kasi sa kanta dati ng Itbulaga, mula Apari hanggang Hulo. Nawala na po kami sa mapa doon. Kasi lampas pa po kami ng Apari. Sa Bata Ang pinakadulo po talaga ng north is Batanes. But before Batanes, it is our island. Kalayan Island. Ganun po kalayo. So, para yung iba hindi pa rin ma-visualize, para may tindihan ninyo, mula Manila, ako po ibabiyay papuntang Apari, using the bus for 12 to 14 hours. And from Apari, dyan na po ako magpapangka papunta sa aking isla, Kalayan Island, for 6 to 8 hours on average. Pag medyo maalon, longer pa po yung biyahe. So, ganun po ang uh, no, medyo, kaya tawag nga naging marginal po yung area na yun. Peripheries. Isa po sa mga katangian ng aming isla, dahil nga po medyo malayo-layo, may mga bagay na hindi kami na, 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 nakikita doon or nakakaagot po doon. Isa na po doon ay ang simpleng prutas na grapes. Bakit? Pag magdadala po ako, pag, pagpasalubong ako ng grapes sa aking mga parishioners, ha? nasa ilalim ng araw, 6 to 8 hours, ano mangyayari sa grapes? Basas na. Ha? Or maalat-alat dahil nabasa ng, ng tubig alat. Kaya nga po, pero to, to the surprise of one, one tindera po doon sa isang sari-sari store, may dumating na bata. At yun po ang hinihiling niya. Pabili po ng grapes. Nagtaka yung tindera. Bakit grapes ang naghanap nito? Kasi nga pala yung bata, nakakita ng picture sa kanyang coloring book, Grapes. So, sumubok lang naman. Pabili po ng grapes. Awanti grapes. Sabi naman ano, wala pong grapes. Walang grapes dito sa kalayan. Sabi niya, okay. That was Monday. 
bumalik yung bata Tuesday. Meron na ba? Sabi niya. Wala. Okay? Tuesday. Wednesday, dumating na naman siya, baka meron na ang grapes. Diba? At that point, kasi nung una, para medyo na-entertain pa yung tindera, pero ngayon, diba? kulit mo ha? Hanap ka ng hanap ng grapes ha? Isang beses mo pa akong kukulitin, i-staplerin ko yung bunga mo. Ganyan na siya, nag-threat na. May punishment na. Okay, that was Wednesday. Thursday, nandun na naman yung bata. So, sabi ng tindera, ano? May stapler po ba kayo? Wala. Ah, wala? Pabili po ng grapes. Yun ang sabi nung bata. Bakit? Bakit siya naghahanap ng grapes? Ito po kasi ang logic ni babe nung bata. Kukulitin ko itong tinderang ito. At pag ito ay talagang nalubos-lubos na makulitan, ha? mainis na talaga to. Susuko na to, bibili ng Kristo para sa akin. Ganyan po ang kanyang logic. Pero ako naman si Tindera, hindi ko, hindi, hindi ko gagawin yun. Di ba? Nakita nyo nga yung, ano, yung sitwasyon. Bibili nga ako para sa bata na yan eh. Six to eight hours pag nakakain naman yan. Ano ba to? Ito pala yung grapes. Sasabihin naman niya, alat-alat o ano, or tuyo na. Di ba? Ano po ba ang sabihin nun? Kung gusto talaga ni boy, yung bata, makatikim ng tinatawag nilang matamis, ha? na masarap na grapes na yan. Ha? Hindi, ang magbabago ng isip ay hindi si Tindera. Ang magbabago talaga dito si boy. O, gusto mo talaga, ha? kulit mo ha. Sige, halika, sumama ka sa akin. Magbabag ka tayo. 6 to 8 hours. Okay? At mula 6 to 8 hours, magbubus tayo dito papunta sa Manila. 12 to 14 hours tayo magbubus. At pag nakabus na, oh, ito na, bibili tayo ng grapes. Ayun. Bakit ko po ba sinasabi yan? Kasi sometimes, just sometimes, our logic is like that of the child. Ganun ang logic natin. Ano yung ganun? Hindi nyo ba alam ito? Bakit pa tayo dasal na dasal? Every first Friday, dasal na dasal. Nagnunovina tayo every Wednesday. Novina. Bakit? Yung logic ng iba sa atin, para makulitan ang Diyos at sasabihin na ni Lord, okay na lang, kulit na ito ah. Bibigay ko na ngayon hindi mo. Lagi ka ng araw-araw ka nang hingi ng hingi nito. Why is that uh, problematic? Parang lumalabas po kasi ang ating Diyos. Parang mahinang Diyos na, na nadadaan sa kapulitan. Ha? Di ba may limitation siya na hindi niya alam. On the other hand, mali nga po, hindi mali po yung ganun theology. Dahil hindi po nagbabago ang Diyos. Perfect ang Diyos. Hindi yung parang tinuturuan natin, Lord, kailangan ko to. Please, grant it. Kung mabait ka. No? May mga ganun pa tayong mga condition. It's the other way around. When we do our first Friday Mass, when we do our novena, when we do our different devotions, kung ano mga sacrifices pa to, it is not really to change the mind of God, but rather to change our own self. Huh? So sa tagal-tagal pa na ng pagdadasal ninyo dito, ang magbabago pala ay sino? Tayong sarili. Actually, yung mga kagustuhan natin, in one way or another, may mga solusyon po yan. Pero ang gusto ng Panginoon, ikaw mismo ang aakto. Gusto mo ma-promote, di ba? Dinadaan lang ba yan kayo sa lubina? Okay din yun, idadaan natin sa lubina. Plus, sisipag-sipag ngayon. Aaga-agahan na natin. Magagamihan natin ang ating mga nagagawa. Mataas ang chance. Yung mga single-single pa lang dito, ha? Oh. Madadaan ba natin yan sa ano? Novena, oh, mahalaga din. Eh. Gusto ni Mama Mary maging masaya tayo. Pero sometimes you also have to remove your being shy. Initiate the relationship na minsan. And who knows, baka yung kapila, naghihintay lang din pala. Di ba? Sa ating ebanghelyo po dito, ano po ba yung sinasabi ng Panginoon? Sinabi niya, Okay, I will heal. Siya yung nag-i-initiate. Pero sinabi niya, Hoy, take note. Ako lang ba ang nag-i-initiate? Kahit din man, minsan kayo eh, kapag may kailangan. Sino ba? Sinabi niya dito, Who among you if your son or ox falls into a cistern would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? Parang naturally, 
we would help ourselves naturally. Ang sinasabi din ng Panginoon, we should also act accordingly in order to attain our petitions. Lahat ng mga hinihiling, mag-a-action din kayo. May iba din dito siguro, in one minute natin, nag, uh, nagtatasal sa health, good health. Pero siguro, o mas bawasan na muna yung mga bawal na yan ha? na kinakain natin. Ha? Damihan ang mga healthy lifestyle. Kasi yun ang, yun, yun ang ina, yun minsan yung logic. Katulad kami minsan, may mga pare kami. Okay lang. Pero naman tayo sa hospital. Minsan may mga ganong logic. No! Take good care of yourself. So yung hinihiling dito regarding health, good health or recovery of the body, ha? Ipagdadasal natin ba at the same time, cooperate with your doctor. Sabi nung isang pare sa akin, kung ayaw ng, ng kung ayaw mong gawin, kasi sometimes when, if you want to cooperate with your doctor, sabi nung isa, that means I have to change my lifestyle. Ayaw ko mag-change ng lifestyle. So ano pong gagawin ko, father? Sabi nung isang tao sa pare, if you don't want to change your lifestyle, Change your doctor. Sabi niya. Hindi rin naman eh. Pero hindi eh, ikaw pa ang maluluki dyan. Kaya ang tanong mga, kung gusto natin, kapila ang magbabago, wala masyadong improvement. But all things, all of these improvement starts at home. Starts with yourself. Ha? So yung mga hinihiling natin, mga petitions, isipin mo, ano bang magagawa ko para ma-attain yan? Pray as if everything depended on God, but act as if everything depended on you and you alone. Huh? Verse 3, kahit natin po. Sinasabi ng Panginoon, uh, sinasabi ni St. Paul po doon, yun nga, yung sometimes we have to exert our effort. Do not just be complacent on the grace of God. Rather, act as if God is already with you. So, sa ating misa pong ito, believe that the Lord is with you. Believe that He is listening to your prayers. Believe that He is granting you graces to attain what you ask. But at the same time, cooperate in the process. Do your own contribution. Kasi nga po, partnership po lagi yan. Ang ating buhay ay partnership always with the Lord. Parang may visualize nyo ninyo, parang bird. Di ba? Isang bird. Paano lilipad si bird? With using only the left wing? No. But the left and the right wing. So, ganun din po tayo. Novina lang ba? Mas lang ba? No. Mas and novina and our effort. As we celebrate this Mass, we thank the Lord for all the blessings we have received. We also include in our prayers yung mga may sakit. But at the same time, we also ask Him to help us help ourselves. Let us spend some moments in silence reflecting on the Word of God and on His graces for us. Stand. Let us pray to God, our Father, who has called us all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. And so we say, may we render you praise for all your graces, O Lord. May we render you praise for all your graces, O Lord. That Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. May we render you praise for all your graces, O Lord. That we may never put law above people, but practice first the great commandment of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. May we render you praise for all your graces, O Lord. That we may have the true spirit of charity in dealing with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may see Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. 
May we render you praise for all your graces, O Lord. That the sick and those in the hospitals may be healed of their infirmities, let us pray to the Lord. May we render you praise for all your graces, O Lord. That the dead may now rest in the company of God, let us pray to the Lord. May we render you praise for all your graces, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We also include in our intentions the intention to be our loved ones and those who are close to us. We pray, may we render you praise for all your graces, O Lord. Let us now turn our hearts to Mama Mary, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and ask her to purify our intentions by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please all stand, praise sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in blessed Martin de Porres, the new man in your image, the old having passed away, graciously grant we pray that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth that gives you promise in the new world to come. And so with all angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim.
fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them that the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be carried into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring you the fullness of charity to get Francis our Pope, Ernesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the home of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Martin the Porus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we remain to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, shall be forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you.
we are standing. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray. Lead us always in your love through the example of blessed Martin de Porres and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. The 51st Lunch and Learn series is entitled, Am I a Wise Investor? Our guest speaker will be Father James McTavish. Father James is a missionary priest with the Verbum Dei Catholic Missionaries. Originally from Scotland, he has spent almost 15 years as a missionary in the Philippines. He had been assigned in Cebu, Mindanao, and now in Quezon City since 2008. He's involved in biblical apostolate, sharing about moral issues, and active in Verbum Dei's mission of forming apostles of the lay people. Father James was also one of the speakers in the recent International Eucharistic Congress in Cebu. The talk will be here at Lecture Center 2 this coming Thursday, November 9, 12 noon. Lunch part starts at 11.40 a.m. and learning begins at 12 noon sharp. Please bring along at least two new friends to this learning event. Next, LLC is happy to report that with God's amazing grace, the solar panel project in Humanhon Island has been successfully completed in the first week of October. The classroom was funded by JF Park PR, where LLC solar panel has been installed uh, and has been integrated on the 17th of October. The event was attended by the OCO mission team, the mayor of D1, and LLC was represented by Karen Baido and Ellen Cruz Ramos. They all braved the big waves to be at the inauguration. The children, school teachers, and the entire barangay were all very happy with LLC's contribution to the future generation of barangay in Apulangan, Humanhon Island, given some eastern summer. They now have full access to new learning equipment and methods with the help of our solar panel contribution. They wish to express their heartfelt thanks to everyone and pray for God's continued blessings to LLC for making these life-changing contributions possible in the remote island barangay. Thank you to all of you for helping make this happen. And lastly, we would like to thank Father Rudolf Senyo, Assistant Pastor of Students, Assistant Parish Priest, and OIC of Finance in USD Angelicum for celebrating the Holy Mass with us today. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.